Okay. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to our Friday evening service of Compline Prayer at the end of the day. I'm Reverend Winnow, which I think you know, and my partner in crime is Father Michael, who is going to open us with some beautiful music, followed by a prayer for intercession. Let us gather our attention and our mind and reflect on the day that has been and feel God's presence around us. Let us gather our prayers together today. We've been, uh, a number of people have asked us to pray for them by name and specifically, and I've been noticing more and more in the time of, of this transition, waiting for the vaccine, that there's a general heaviness around. One of my favorite Anglican authors uh, is Edward Pusey, who is a member of the Tractarian Movement, and I purchased a, a book of his private prayers. And so I'd like to offer for us today uh, Pusey's prayers in times of heaviness. So let us pray. Good Jesus, thou knowest and canest and willest and hast promised to help us. Thou hast given for thyself for us. Thou hast so often in Holy Communion given thyself to us. What shall we then not hope from thee who hast in thyself given to us all things? Good Lord, give us a firm, unshaking trust in thee. Set our feet upon the rock that we slip not backwards. We have no help in ourselves. In thee, we may have all. We are all weakness. Thou art might. In thee, we may be almighty over ourselves. In thee, we can do all things. Let us not think then of our own weakness, save to trust in thy strength. Let our weaknesses ever recall to us thy strength. Our weakness is thy strength, good Lord, for thy strength is made perfect in weakness. Thou usest the weak things of the world to overcome the strong. Use us then, Lord, good Lord, to overcome us, to overcome in us the strong man who held us strongly, but on whom thou canst make us trample. To thee, good Lord, I trust for all things. Thou hast pardoned our sins and blotted them out with thy most precious blood. Thou canst and wilt, if, thee, if we trust in thee, keep us from all grave sin. Thou wilt protect us in every occasion and peril of sin. Thou wilt give us strength in temptation, yea, thou wilt be our strength in peril. Thou art patience in trial, thou art counsel in perplexity, thou wilt suggest holy thoughts. Thou wilt guard our words for us, thou wilt work our works in us. Thou wilt give us 
growth in grace and love thou wilt give us if we pray perseverance to the end and the grace to pray for it from thee then good lord lord from whom and in whom we have all things we look for all things henceforth even forever we trust thee with our hopes and our fears our present and our future, our time and our eternity, for ourselves and for all whom thou hast given us to love. In desolation, in consolation. And we remember at this time those that we've been asked to pray for. We pray for Allison and Rick, Heather, Jan, Kay, Crystal, Leslie, Ruth, Sean, Sheila, Theo, TJ, Trina, Wayne, Linda and Lloyd Avram and their family, Bob Guest, Elaine K, Jessica K, Jackie, Lori, Pat Lawson, Keith Inches, Corinne, Declan, Alice and Marion, and we pray for the faithful departed. May they rest in the peace of Christ. Elaine Carden, Blair Broadfoot, and Gaylene Burns. When we fear that we are far from thee, as when we fear thou art far from us, for thou we desire. Though our sin be far from thee, yet thou art ever nigh to us, and hast brought us nigh to thee. Grant, if it may be, that we may feel nigh thee. Yet if not, make us by faith to behold thee, by love to behold thee, by trust to cling to thee, and love, hope, and trust in thee with our whole heart for thy tender mercy's sake our only savior and redeemer our god and our all amen amen the lord almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end amen our help is in the name of the lord the maker of heaven and earth Thou art in the midst of us, O Lord, and we are called by thy name. Do not forsake us. Thanks be to God. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of thy eye. Hide us under the shelter of thy wings. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Guard us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, now lettest thou thy servant depart in peace, according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, to be a light to lighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of thy people Israel. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Be present, O merciful God, and protect us through the hours of this night 
that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this life may rest in thy eternal changelessness through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. The almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen. O God, our Father, for the sake of the infinite love that burned in the heart of thy Son, as he bore his passion, we plead for all tonight who stand most in need of thy merciful love and protection. Try my heart. As you visit me by night. By the wrongs we have committed and the good we have left undone. Have mercy. For all false judgments and uncharitable thoughts towards others. Have mercy. For presumption on thy grace and arrogance toward others. Have mercy. By thy humility in washing the disciples' feet. Save us, Jesus. For those in darkness this night. Save us, Jesus. Our souls beset by temptation. Have mercy. On those in deadly sin. Have mercy. On those given up to worldliness and forgetful of thee. Have mercy. On those who are in danger of knowing, of not knowing thee forever. Have mercy. Bind thine agony. Save them, Jesus. Those who are tempting others. Commit to thy love. On those carrying on wicked trades and profiting by sin. Have mercy. On those juggling in sinful, exploitive amusement. Have mercy. On all imper imperiling their souls by luxury and self-indulgence. Have mercy on all acting in cruel and vicious disregard of others. Have mercy. By the scourging. Save them, Jesus. Those who suffer from the wickedness of others. Protect and restore by thy love. On all without home and shelter this night. Have mercy. On refugees and those whose homes are destroyed in war. Have mercy. On children abandoned or disowned by their families. Have mercy. On all in mental anguish. Have mercy. On those caught in addiction and destructive habits. Have mercy. On the hungry, the cold, and the frightened. Have mercy. By thy cross and passion. Save them, Jesus. Those who are out to rescue and protect. Strengthen by thy love. For those who work through the night hours. Have mercy. For the police and the first responders in crisis. Have mercy. For those in transportation. Have mercy. For journalists. Have mercy. For those who clean and repair buildings or infrastructure. Have mercy. For doctors and nurses. Have mercy. For all those whose work sustains our community. Have mercy. By thy night spent watching in prayer. Save them, Jesus. Those who work or watch or weep this night. Sustain with thy presence. To the sick and the suffering and all in agony. Give comfort and peace. To parents watching the sleepless children, to caregivers tending the elderly, to all who stand and watch over others this night. 
give patience and steadfastness for the sleepless and the lonely. Be near them. For those in anxiety or mental distress. Calm them. For those who this night will suffer bereavement. Visit and sustain them. To those who will die this night. Give hope and in thy mercy receive their souls. On those dying suddenly and unprepared. Have mercy. On those dying without hope or faith. Have mercy. On those dying alone. Have mercy. To the faithful departed. For all who we know in our hearts. And for those for whom no one prays. Grant light and peace. To us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Grant pardon of sins, renewal of faith, quickening of love, and a reasonable and holy hope in thee. By thy holy death. Deliver us, Jesus. By thy glorious resurrection. Save us and bring us to the joy of paradise. And for those who have said no prayers, and for those whom no one has prayed, let us say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Blessed, praised, and adored be our Lord Jesus Christ on his throne of glory, in the most holy sacrament of the altar, and in the hearts of his faithful people. Of his grace, mercy may guide protect and support us this night and evermore. Amen. Blessed night to you all and thank you for joining us this evening.